President Biden want to carve his name in human history as the de facto order of the Gaza massacre? Hush Gaza massacre hush hey listen carefully President Biden Hush a representative of God Hush you must stop Israel from invading the promised land Canaan Gaza immediately Hush Zionism's way hush violation of humanitarian rules hush epidemic crisis hush a secular or non-religious or by force faction of Jewish hush the great Israel doctrine the news about Gaza over the past week seems like a story from hell that far exceeds imagination and my sadness is literally beyond description the Gaza conflict which includes acts of self-defense retaliation and annihilation that are a hundred times more severe than the violation of humanitarian rules as well as air strikes on hospitals and schools where civilians and vulnerable people gather makes me ponder is it too self-righteous and arrogant is this the way of the zionists a secular and non-religious or semi-religious faction of Jews who built a new nation after world war to using political power and guns instead of divine power Anyway, there have occurred too many violations of humanitarian law by both sides, and there are too many innocent civilians who are caught in the crossfire and epidemic crisis. In the Israeli IDF's air strikes, the children and women in the Gaza Strip have to drink toilet water. Their food has run out, and they have nothing left: no medicine, no hospital, nothing. It has become a real hell there. This hell seems to imply such a connotation. This kind of excessive self-defense which disregards the implicit gentleman's agreement may be a something that comes from the self-righteous religious delusion that they are a specific gifted people chosen by Yahweh. If they are a special people chosen by Yahweh huh? from passage in the Bible, can they ignore the ethical and rules of adjustment within society between nations and around the world? And then Zionism which is a political movement that emerged in the late 19th century with the aim of establishing a Jewish homeland in Palestine. My recent speculation and question are almost about Zionism, which is a political movement that emerged in the late 19th century with the aim of establishing a Jewish homeland in Palestine. The movement was founded by secular Jews who sought to create a modern democratic state based on Jewish principles. Why Zionism has been a controversial issue throughout its history, it is important to recognize that there are many different aspects on this topic. It is important to approach this issue with an open and deep mind and to seek out multiple sources of information in order to gain a more deep understanding of the situation the culture of the Phoenician Canaanites and Philistines who were both maritime and agricultural people that settled in the land of milk and honey in ancient times flourished in the region spanning from Egypt to Mesopotamia during the Bronze Age which lasted from around 3500 BC to 1200 BC as it became widely known in the world even after the emancipation of the Jews and the dejudization and assimilation into Christian society in modern Western Europe, the discriminatory atmosphere from the Christian civilization against the Jews who killed Jesus Christ was not eliminated. As a result, there was a strong tendency among the Jews to return to their tradition and culture, and the Zionist movement became active. Zionism is generally a movement of the Jews to return to Zion, their ancestral land that symbolized the Jewish people, and rebuild their state. However, there is a point that must be noted. This is, strictly speaking, what is called political Zionism or formal Zionism, and there are also Jews who criticize it as a movement that does not originate from the essence of Judaism. There is also cultural Zionism, which emphasizes content over form and advocates establishing a spiritual center in Palestine for the dispersed Jews and promoting their unique culture. Or, since the Jews were able to maintain their own religious ethnicity even after losing their state, they should establish a spiritual state of the Jews in every country, which is called revisionist Zionism, and there are also practical Zionists who base their land development on land.
Among these, the mainstream is comprehensive Zionism, which integrates political Zionism and practical Zionism. In other words, in fact, there are complex and diverse groups under the name of Zionism, and they are antagonistic to each other, like the current situation, and there are also Jews who oppose Zionism itself. Their spiritual Zionism or Messianic Jews are currently demonstrating an invading parliament in the United States and other countries with an anti-Israel stance. Originally, the Orthodox who followed the tradition that should be called the mainstream of Judaism did not support the Zionist movement itself as a secular thing, and the reformists opposed it because the Jews are not a nation but a religious group and there was no need to establish a state. I apologize for the personal excuse, but I have not finished checking the video. Please forgive me for any errors, typos, mispronunciations, or omissions in the rough draft. Thank you for your understanding. President Biden didn't want to carve his name in human history as the de facto order of the Gaza massacre? Hush Gaza massacre hush hey, listen carefully, President Biden. Hush a representative of God? Hush you must stop Israel from invading the promised land Canaan, Gaza, immediately. Hush Zionism's way hush violation of humanitarian rules hush epidemic crisis hush a secular or non-religious or by force faction of Jewish hush the great Israel doctrine the news about Gaza over the past two weeks seems like a story from hell that far exceeds imagination. Thank you.